Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn that how we can get the data with APIs. So we will use the get method for uh, get the data with the API, and obviously uh, this data will come from the database. And uh, my database name is blog, and uh, we will get this data from the device table, right? So these are the points. First of all, we need at least one controller and one model. And then we will write some code for API and uh, after that we will test this uh, API on a postman and at the last I will ask you a question you can attempt this question in the comment box also so now let's uh, make a controller with command line so just write here php artisan make controller and controller name uh, let's say my controller name is a uh, device controller right and uh, hit it and same time we can also create a model also because we need a controller and model so just right here php artisan make model and model name will be device because my table name is devices right so just right here device and hit enter so the model and uh, controller is created now so now let's uh, make a route for api and before that let's create a function here so that we can use this function in a routing also so just write here list and here we will return some data but for a moment we can just make leave it blank right and uh, now let's go for the api i just want to show you where it is placed that's why i just closed it from here so you will find this uh, api.php in a uh, routes folder right so guys if you did not watch our previous video that how we can just create our first api or simplest api without database then link is given in the description box right so let's uh, import our uh, controller here use app http controllers and then our controller name is device controller right and uh, just simply make a route for it and as i told you we always use the get method to get the data right so this is the get method and uh, let's use it any route and uh, just use here device controller colon colon class and in the second value let's uh, use a list which is the function name of uh, this controller right so everything is fine now let's try to just check this url so that just right here localhost and uh, as you know when we are using the api.php for the route then we have to add here api and then just simply write here list right because this is a route name so we got the blank but this is correct because we did not mention here inside the controller yet so now let's import here uh, model use app http uh, sorry models uh, my bad models and then a model name which is device right and just simply return here device colon colon all right and uh, now let's try to hit it now you can see that we got the all the five ids one two three four five from this table right so this is a simple get api with the help of get method and we are able to get the data from database so that's very simple now in the next video i will tell you that how you can just uh, get the data from the specific id and you can use the parameter with the id also uh, with the get request let's say i just want to get the data from get data from first id or second id and all right so uh we will just see this in the next video but it's time of uh, into question uh yes uh can we use uh two tables data in a single api you can attempt this question in the comment box if you want and uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care